America, Tom Hand here with Americana Corner. Today we're discussing the British response to Clark's invasion. After capturing Kaskaskia and Cahokia in July 1778, Colonel George Rogers Clark set his sights on the strategically critical post of Fort Sackville, 200 miles to the east. Located on the Wabash River, near the small village of Vincennes, Fort Sackville was the key site on the water highway running through the heart of the Illinois country. Clark sent a local delegation to Vincennes who convinced its French inhabitants, never too fond of the British, to switch their allegiance to the American cause. Clark also sent Captain Leonard Helm and a small detachment to safeguard this newest American possession, which Helm renamed Fort Patrick Henry. In August, word of Clark's daring exploits reached Fort Detroit, the main British outpost in the region. Its commander, Lieutenant Governor Henry Hamilton, assembled a relief force and headed south. On December 17th, Hamilton and his 200 soldiers arrived at the outskirts of Fort Patrick Henry. Captain Helm, aware of Hamilton's advance, attempted to rally local citizens to defend the fort as they had promised to do. Unfortunately, the Frenchmen fled at the first sign of danger. When the British approached the fort, Helm commanded just three men, but standing defiantly behind a loaded cannon placed at the fort's main gate. Hamilton asked Helm his intentions, and Helm replied he intended to fire on the Brits unless they were given honorable surrender terms. Hamilton must have smiled at this bravado, but seeing Helm was sincere, Hamilton agreed. Knowing Clark was 200 miles away, and with a harsh northern winter setting in, Hamilton gave little thought to an assault by Clark. He would soon have a rude awakening. Next week, we will discuss Clark's intrepid winter march to Vincennes. Until next time, may your love of country lead you. Thank you.